Yo guys, what's going on? This is Tony here, and today I have another lava deck for you guys. Uh, this one is a lava miner loon deck, but you got the double light spell to help counter all the uh, bait decks going around right now. Uh, I'm going to be playing in the grand challenge. We're currently 4-0. Uh, this is my alt. I have, well, I have two alts, but this is uh, my like smallest of the two. And uh, so I am a little bit on your level with uh, level 8 guards, but I'm going to show you guys in this video that it doesn't really matter. So... Uh, we're going to run through this GC, hopefully get a couple of good games, and uh, I'll be back once I find this first match. Okay, so we just got a game here against Katrina. Good luck, Thumbs. Uh, we can just zap the tower as the first play to cycle a card, unless he... Okay, so he hounds same lane. Okay. Uh, obviously, uh, Inferno Drag there. Uh, you always want Inferno Drag, any bulky units. But uh, I'm just going to Baby Drag here. He's got a Firecracker. We're going to Miner. Just to clean her up. Okay, he tried to save her, but he failed, so it's nice for us. Um, we're just gonna let that all kind of sizzle. I wish I had Hound in hand, but I'm gonna loon actually with this. And then guards, and then zap. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Die! <laughs> uh, man, that hurts, so. He's got a bomber. Wow, this is a weird deck, but uh, we're gonna do a good amount of damage here with this uh, baby drag. I can't use my arrows because he has minion horde. Can't use my baby drag because, uh, well, I mean, I need it to help with the hound. And then obviously in front of drag also the hound. So that's why I'm letting this bomber go. But, uh, so we're going to hound here, same lane as his hound once he plays it. I think I'm actually up in elixir, so I get to play hound first, but he'll most likely same lane. Wow, he actually decided to go opposite. Interesting. So, uh, I think he's deciding to throw that tower and give up on it. And uh, try to attack over here. So we're going to Inferno Dragon really high. Because we have arrows to protect it. And Baby Dragon. So I don't really have to uh, care about doing that. We'll see if he... Okay. Oh, he has Loon. Okay, so well played on that. Okay, so I need this Loon to get cleaned up. Okay, so this Loon's going to go down. He's in a really bad spot here. We're going to Miner with our Hound. Wow, so he goes Minion Horde over on the left. Interesting. Uh, Miner kills tower. I'm going to guards in the pocket. He miners over there. Interesting call. I'll get a little bit of chip with those guards. Even though they are under level, they still do a good amount of damage. And now we are up in nearly an entire tower. So we can hound again. Uh, you don't really want to play passive with this deck and try to defend. It's just very hard to do that. So you want to constantly be hounding. Um, okay, so he goes, he's got the uh, hound down. I need to just arrow the fire, or not the firecracker, the minion horde, and I should be fine here. So we're going to miner. Um, I'm actually going to... Hmm. So he's going to take a tower here, but I also took his tower over there. So uh, this is actually a fine situation. I'm going to go for another lava hound here. I'm going to arrow the firecracker. Oh, he has arrows. I did not know that. But he hasn't taken either tower, so I should be in a like really good spot here. Can loon again. I'm just throwing everything at him because I can. So he goes, he goes and he decides to take his one tower. I'm going to obviously three crown him here. He can't stop it. So uh, he got a tower, good for him. But oh, I didn't get the three crown. Okay, the clock hit me, but uh, we still get the dub pretty easily. So there you go. We're gonna, and then I'll be back with the uh, next game here. Okay, got a game. Good luck. Thumbs. I could hound first play. You do want to hound first play with this deck, so. Uh, I like to wait like a couple seconds just to see if they play anything, and if they don't, then you can just go ahead and hound. He's going to go uh, Baby Dragon Graveyard at the bridge first play. Um, I'm just going to kind of tank some damage because I, I, I need to Inferno Dragon on offense, so. Uh, nearly lose the tower, but not quite, so. Let's see how he defends that. Oh, he's Ewis. Oh, man. This is really bad, boys. Uh, we're going to guards on offense. He's got Barbara. Wow. Bad situation here. I kind of need my miner in here. Hmm. This is a bad situation, like I said, just because of that Ewis. He uh, took a tower, and I thought, oh, you know, I'll easily be able to tower trade. But one Ewis is all it takes to uh, easily defend, so... But uh, in the future, he doesn't have NATO, so I should be in a good spot, as he can't even activate King with my Loon, so I should be able to Loon uh, more aggressively next time, and probably be fine. So, uh, not the best situation, but definitely not the worst, so we're going to just Hound over here. Uh, okay, he gets Goblin Hut. 
I can loon to bypass the Goblin Hut, and then I'm going to want a Baby Dragon and Miner. Actually, no, I have Guards before Miner. See, my hand's kind of screwed up now also. Hmm. This guy really got me with that one graveyard. So we're going to Baby Dragon. I need these Spear Gobs to just not be in my life, so... Wow, he's got a lot of air counters in this deck. We get our Loon Drop, go for the arrows as well, just to help clean up on uh, offense here. So there you go, almost took that tower. We can zap, uh, actually we, don't, mm, we do have to zap, I think. Okay, missed one Spear Gob, that's fine. Once I take this tower, this should be a really easy matchup. So I just kind of got to play aggressive and take that tower over there. So he goes for a night, uh, night graveyard push. I just guards on defense. Well, Baby Dragon also, I need to kill this and not take too much damage, so, um, that's fine, I'm gonna hound actually in front of this, I just need to make sure I take this tower, basically, uh, okay, so that did catch my hound, which just sucks, but it's fine, uh, I could arrows, no, bad arrows, I have death damage, it's basically tower, I don't need to worry about, uh, taking that anymore, so, um, He's got to take this tower on the right, but I could still defend over here. I don't know. I think he has to go for a graveyard. He does. Great. Uh, so we're going to hound on the opposite lane. Uh, we have arrows, so we're fine here. Uh, yes, I wanted to catch a gob hut. Okay, uh, we do need to support our hound with something. Actually, wait, he... Yeah, I was about to say, he uh, e was over there. It was not the e was. Okay, so we go aggressive. He's going to actually fully counter it quite easily. Uh, he goes Knight Graveyard Pocket. Honestly, not a bad play. I need the Knight to go down. Okay, it does. So we defend. Not great, but we're not dead, which is a big thing. I screwed up early in this game, and I'm still paying for it. So, kind of brutal. Uh, it gets a hit. Man, I'm not having a good time here. Okay, so he screws up on that graveyard. Uh, okay, he doesn't have graveyard. I could go aggressive. I'm going to go aggressive. I need to win here if I want to change. If I like want to win this game, or yeah, I need to take this tower now. Um, man, this is really brutal. Okay, so we're gonna instantly guards on top here. He might just go aggressive. I think he's definitely waiting to go aggressive on this graveyard. Oh boy, here we go. Instantly arrows. Uh, we got our drop on offense, which means death damage wins the game. Oh, we should get it here. Yep. Okay. Whew. Okay, so you guys saw that was a really kind of rough game. I uh, lost the, that tower earlier. Not didn't lose it, but like it went down really low. And so that made it just so hard to defend. That, uh, the, like, because I had to defend the right if I wanted to win. So the game, that game, uh, we, we clutched it out, though, but it was a little rough, you know. But that's fine. Six and one, not bad. We're going to hop straight into another game, and I'll be back once we find that match. Okay, we got a game against Contre here. Good luck. Thumbs. Um, we're chilling. I could hound. Let's see what he does. He doesn't play anything, so we're going to Lava Hound. Let's see what he's got. He's got Ice Whiz. Oh, boy, it's a graveyard. Graveyard is very easy, although I did lose that last game. It really is an easy matchup here. Uh, because, like, I have guards that defend it. I got two light spells. Like, it's not a hard push to defend. But guards survive quite easily. Uh, so we just have Inferno Drag there. Uh, let's see what he's got. Man, he's, he's sweating. He does not know what to do here. He goes for the bar barrel. We're locked on tower, yes. He's got a NATO. Uh, we go into the bar barrel. Oh, man, that was bad. So I was thinking is um, that he had Tombstone because he waited so long on the bomb tower that I was like, oh, there's no way he's bomb tower. But uh, that's fine. We're going to still get a really, like, really good amount of chip, and then we can actually hound again over here. So uh, this is a really good situation. This ice was crosses. We can hound. Um, and if he graveyards, I obviously have guards. So. Okay, here's the hound just to tank the ice whiz. There you go. He might rush over here with like knight graveyard or something. But even if he does that, I have guards. So. Uh, at this point, I can loon with my hound because he really can't activate king, like NATO it. Or, I mean, he can, but at that point, the tower's already gone. There's, like, no point, so. Uh, there's the loon. I don't think he'll NATO. Yeah, he's just going to take the tower gone. And uh, 
we can Inferno Dragon this, because we don't want him to have any counter push. That's a big thing about why like you use um, Inferno Dragon on offense, is that you don't want him to have any counter push. Because the more counter push he has, the harder it is to uh, defend. So when, look, that Inferno Dragon just killed everything. He's got no counter push. We're looking great on Elixir. Uh, so this is really, this is exactly how you should play against a graveyard player. So we're just zap there. We're going to minor the tower, just kind of slowly chipping him down. Um, we're going to hound again. I think he gave up. Yeah, he did. Okay, so there you guys go. I mean, we just absolutely crippled him. He uh, couldn't take it. He uh, threw in the towel. A lot of people do that. I mean, when, like six wins in a GC, you don't think that, uh, like, you'd think nobody would ever quit. You know, it's not worth it. They're burning their gems, but no. Uh, people do it. They just they can't take the heat. They say, I'm done. They quit. Take the win. There you go. So, seven and one, not bad. We're going to hop straight in with another game, and I'll be back once I find that match. Okay. Got a game here against 5910. Interesting name. Good luck, Thumbs. Uh, we can Lava Hound here. Okay, so you guys for how many P.E.K.K.A. bats first play? Let's go. Skill. Okay, I said it's the definition of skill, and if you disagree, you are wrong. Okay, so our singular guards clean that up. So we can Lava Hound. He zapped. My man literally threw uh, bats, mini P.E.K.K.A. That's six. Zap is eight. I threw guards. I'm up five elixir because of that push. Boys, that's why you don't do that. So uh, we're going to just ignore it. I don't need to uh, worry about it. I need to really worry about offense here. So, oh. I mean, that's so unfortunate that I didn't have arrows there, because now my entire loon just died. My baby dragon basically died. I mean, wow. If he has arrows, then this is so unfortunate. Um, zap the bats. He zaps as well. We're going to get a lot of damage here. Uh, honestly, if we had arrows in hand, that tower would be so gone. It's not even funny. But uh, this is actually fine, because in general, now we know that he has mini horde, and now we do have arrows. So it's completely fine with just uh, letting this... Uh, like, if he, we, we're, we're ready this time around. So he has Sparky, obviously. Uh, I think he has Goblin Giant. Uh, based on, and I say obviously, the, yeah, sorry, I'm having a stroke, boys. Uh, I say obviously there because no deck other than Sparky runs Rage. So Except for my Lava decks, of course. But there's the arrows, as I said. He goes for the Rage. I think he might zap. He didn't zap. Hmm, interesting, so. Guards kind of go to waste. He has mini P.E.K.K.A., so i got to be careful. i got to save this Miner. Big, big thing here. got to save that Miner. So I just want to Loon, because I have Zap for the Bats. Uh, he goes for Goblin Gang. Goblin Gang does not fully counter a Loon, so... We're going to go Miner Defense. And then we need a Baby Dragon, so that this mini P.E.K.K.A. Mm, got a hit, but that's okay. Uh, one hit's fine on that tower. I just need to make sure to keep his damage split. And I can easily defend with uh, Inferno Drake here. So, Inferno Drake, same lane. As a Sparky, I'm going to actually hound in front of it because I think it's better if I play aggressive and try to take a tower. So, he goes Goblin Giant out of the lane with Bats. Interesting play. I'm going to ignore it. I kind of have to. So, uh, our Inferno Drake will take out that tower. We have arrows right away. He knew better than to. Uh... Okay, I got to be careful about playing aggressively. Yeah, I was about to say he's going to try three crown rush here in a bit. So, uh, we're going to wait for that to die, and then zap. I, I really need Baby Dragon down. I cannot let this mini P.E.K.K.A. be for too long. Okay, we're good. That was scary. I almost got three crown, but in the end, we got the dub. There you go. Uh, eight and one with underlevel guards. So, you know, this deck, it, it works. You beat a lot of the uh, common meta decks. So, anyway, we're going to hop into another game, and I'll be back once I find that match. Oh, we got a game, guys, against Cock... Uh, I don't know how to let us say the name. Cakey, there you go. Yeah, that's it. Uh, but we're just going to chill. Uh, he bats in the back. I really don't have anything. Get the guards ready for the miner over here. Okay, no miner. We're just chilling. Uh, he goes for a log. We're going to go guards miner at the bridge. Just because I have to zap if he tries to play anything. So Zap. Um, He's got firecracker. Got obviously bats. I could activate King here. I think the better play is just Inferno Drag on defense uh, against this hog. Oof, fire. Okay, so yikes, we're taking heat. Um, okay, no, we're fine. So we need guards really though for the uh, mini Pekka. This is the uh, I have a very really good matchup here. I just gotta play aggressive because this guards uh, or uh, against his mini Pekka, I have guards. So 
Uh, we'll play it on the minute, Becca. I do have guards, like I said, though, so uh, really not honestly the best play in my opinion, but I don't even have to loon with the Hound. Uh, I'd need to focus on defense. Uh, arrow the Firecracker, zap the bats, and then obviously he uh, really has nothing left. So there you go. Here's the arrows on the Firecracker. He's going to be mad. Let's see what else. Okay, there's the bats. Zap those. <laughs> And then Inferno Drag when he rushes me with a ground unit because that's his only play left. So there you go. Uh, pretty easy defense there. Uh, just a plain Inferno Drag. I'm going to Loon now because he still has air, no air units and I nearly have Elixir for a guard. So he really can't rush me with like a mini P.E.K.K.A. So uh, there you go, man. That, like, that's just how you win these matches when they have two like uh, when they have bats and firecracker or something. Oops, sorry about that. Phone's low on battery. But uh, he's gonna guard, or he's gonna go for the hog. I'm gonna minor this firecracker. Hmm. So we're taking a little heat, not gonna lie, but uh, we at least have a tower, so I can go on the left now. Um, you do have to play pretty aggressive in this matchup. Like you gotta always hound, because if you don't, you're kind of not in a very good spot. So uh, barely caught the firecracker. Kind of scared myself there. If I'm uh, being honest, I gotta let this tower go. There's no way I stop that hog. Uh, but I can loon is the big thing, and then I can minor the firecracker. So he's going to go mini peck on another lane. Um, we're going to go guards, and then the baby dragon, just to help clean up the bats. He's got nothing, but man, he's out of options. He has to hog aggressively. I'm going to arrow on offense, go for another loon. I don't even care if he takes my tower, because he's going to go hog somewhere, yeah. But that doesn't matter because I zap. Zap, zap Eros is so strong in this meta, I'm telling you guys, because you can just counter all of the uh, very swarm-based decks. So, like, he's got Bats, Firecracker for my Hound, and a Cheap Cycle, doesn't matter. I have Zap Arrows, I have Miner. It's just so easy to kill his defenses that I can easily rush and get a 3 count. So, uh, there you guys go. 9-1, not bad. And uh, we'll be back after this long queue time. Okay, guys, so we got another game here against 3M Master, I think it is. I don't know, my man's crazy. Um, so I can... Okay, we're going to just guard. I could have zapped, uh, but I kind of want a miner to support these. And then that way, if he has, like, bats, then... Okay, no. Oh, I think it's graveyard. Another graveyard, boys. Oh, I was about to say, guards are going to get a lot of damage if he ignores, but uh, he did not. We're going to baby dragon on defense. Uh, I think odds are he does not go in for a graveyard here. Yeah. Just elects to chill. It's fine. Uh, so I don't want this knight getting too much damage. Okay, so that's fine. Um, it's got Gob Hut, great, fun, very balanced card. Uh, great, so actually two Spear Gobs did get clean, so that's fine. Uh, I can't Nada. Oh, this is actually bad. It's such a bad matchup. I mean, it's not terrible. Okay, okay. Take this one with a grain of salt. This is, a, this is an annoying one. How about that? Does that word work for you guys? Annoying. <laughs> oh my god, Spear Gods, please die. Okay, so they've died for the most part there. Whew, Inferno Drake stays locked. That's funny. Um, I don't have a miner, else I'd go in for a loon. Uh, he goes for uh, Night Graveyard. Guards, I need you like in my life now. Okay. It's kind of a messy defense, if I'm being honest, but it's fine, so. Uh, he's got to defend with an Ice Whiz. I can hopefully just Hound here. Okay. That was a good graveyard on his part. He knew he was up in Elixir and everything. Um, so we're chilling, though. We can Lava Hound now. I don't think he has, like, Knight Graveyard and Hand back. Yeah. Oh, this is so annoying, though. Like, the Goblet is just... It's such an annoying card to deal with. Uh, so I want to go Inferno Drag, and then I want to Loon, I guess. And then, oh wow, he went straight for that poison, that hurts. And then I wanted a Baby Dragon over here. Okay, good NATO, I guess. Uh, we can Miner, and then Arrows as well. And then that way, the bulk, remember that uh, whole thing on not letting them have a counter push. That's, that's big stuff. Okay, stop that before it crosses. Tower helps clean up. Um, I'm going to Baby Dragon over here to tank all this because I do not need any more damage on my tower. He goes for a poison. Interesting poison. Uh, Inferno Drake is going to take a hit from the Ice Wiz. 
and then I can hound again. So I gotta be careful my defense here. Okay. One uh, one slip up and this is game. So. Whew. Minor loon opposite lane. I want to inferno drag. Oh, he's gonna just activate king. Oh, that's game, I think. That's your ball game. He almost screwed it up. Oh, he did screw it up. What a guy. So he screwed up his NATO. Yes. Okay, so there you guys go. My man screwed up his NATO on my loon because he didn't want to leak elixir. So not bad, but uh, I'll be back once I find this game. Oh, oh, shoot, boys. Okay, we got a game here. Uh, okay, so before we leak, zap tower. Um, I was actually on my computer. Okay, guards here. But I was on my computer on Twitter because I'd been queuing for about 10 minutes, guys. That's how long it takes to find the game. Uh, but anyway, we're going to miner here, just get some chip. Don't want to leak, obviously. I'm really glad that I noticed. That would have been really bad. But, uh, okay, he baby dragons. I'm just going to hound into this, as this is a golem deck, uh, most likely with lumberjack and baby drag. So I'm uh, completely fine hounding here. That way he really can't rush me with golem. So, okay, 100% golem, the night witches. Uh, I can just baby drag here to clean up the night witch. Um, okay, wow, so he actually goes for his golem here. I'm going to inferno drag really high up. And then... The baby dragon is actually going to splash tonight, which, yeah, and then I can arrow or zap. Actually, I think I can just zap here, the bats, and then we're in a great spot. So, ooh, okay, <laughs> oh, wow. So we barely timed that right. We're going to miner here to support the hound. Uh, Mega Minion goes down, got Inferno Drag, Lumberjack, that's fine. He's going to defend. Wait, <gasps> Inferno Drag? Oh, yo, Inferno Drag's on tower. That's tower. Oh, my God, okay, guards are on defense. Holy crap, Wow. Okay, so we're up a tower. Uh, I think we're up an elixir. No, we're even an elixir, actually. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm just going to hound left lane. Uh, with this deck, you want to keep applying pressure. You don't want to ever, like, back down and try to defend, because, quite frankly, it's not very good at defense. And if I did, like, cycle both my dragons to defend the golem, I'll just lightning. So I'd uh, rather go on the offense, try to apply some more pressure, and uh, win that way. But, okay, so, wow, yes, he goes for the golem. I'm just going to inferno drag, because if I ignore it, then he'll just try to three-crown me, so... Obviously, we don't want that, but uh, I can loon to my hound here. Uh, actually, wait, if he rushes, yeah, no, uh, I don't like this, boys, because if he rushes me with, like, a lumberjack, I'm in trouble. Okay, no, so he defends, we're good. Uh, Baby Dragon helps clean up, and loon, oh, I was going to say we'll get a drop. Uh, I want to cycle zap here, and then just get another hound down in the pocket. That way we can apply a lot of pressure and hopefully get some good damage. Um, oof. Oh, that's, that's a yikes. He's got NATO. I can arrow this. Um, I should be okay to defend here. I can loon, actually. Yeah, because he just uses NATO. Uh, that all gets cleaned up. Oh, man, this is going to be brutal. I'm going to have to Inferno Dragon high to kill these baby dragons and then defend the golem else. Oh, we got the drop. Yo, that's tower. Uh, but okay, we can just defend the golem with the baby dragon guards. And we should be fine. Uh, okay. And by the way, I, I said guards, but I realized that he had Lumberjack, and I didn't want to waste my guards, because that way I could lose the game. So that's why I minored. Uh, I just went for that and decided it was a better choice. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying not to choke this game, boys. Okay, so we're good. Uh, oh, we got to take the tower still. So. <laughs> uh, I was confused. Uh, but there you go. That's the game. A little bit rough, but, you know, we get the dub. Let's go. Um, almost, I, almost, I didn't have to choke it, but you guys have got to remember that. I'm uh, trying to focus as I play here, so. Anyway, 11 and 1. Hey guys, we're 11 and 2 here. We're going to start the queue as. Okay, I was going to say as it's going to take a long time to find a match, but never mind. Uh, anyway, good luck, Thumbs. I guess we're hopping right into it. Um, we're going to hound here unless he plays something. Uh, so, oh, okay, so we're going to guards. Uh, he's got Gob Barrel, that's fine. Easy cleanup. Uh, let's see, okay, so he's got Spirit Gobs. We're going to just Baby Drag here. I want to leak elixir, obviously. Um, I'm trying to think about like bait decks that have spear gobs and goblin barrel. Oh, okay. So he wasted his rascals, so I should actually be able to. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's got rocket also. That's so brutal. Uh, that damage hits rascal boy. I think rascal boy only gets one or two hits here, which I'm fine taking. So uh, I can't really spend anything, uh, any elixir on defense here. So okay, just one hit. That's completely fine with me. Um, I don't want to hound here because I. Just don't have really, like, I don't have a loon. I don't have a baby dragon. I'm against a swarm based deck, so uh, I think Inferno Drag is the better play here. Uh, okay, so he rushes Bandit. I have guards. Um, I kind of want to hound in front, but I don't think I'll have, yeah, I don't have Elixir, so. Okay, we're just going to Miner here. 
And I'm actually going to loon with this miner. Uh, that way we can get a little dual lane pressure, you know. Uh, oh, we're going to air the rascals here. Uh, oh, oh, I have no elixir. Oh, this is a terrible play. He's going to just goblin barrel here. Oh, no, boys. I have nothing. Uh, I can zap, see if that'll save the tower. Um, oh, man, that's oh that's so brutal to lose a tower. Okay, I have guards. Ah, yikes. Okay, so we, we actually saved the tower for 125 health, but god, man. Just those arrows, I got a little overzealous. Uh, guards will go die, that's fine. Um, man, that really sucked. Uh, but let's see what he does. If he doesn't do anything, we can just hound. Um, okay, yeah, I think we're gonna just hound here. And, uh, actually, no, we're gonna baby drag, and then we're gonna hound right in front of it, because he really doesn't have a good counter for my hound, so... Uh, I should be able to do this and then arrow the rascals and then, oh man, I wish I, I waited a sec because I could hit the princess, but I'm going to mine at the tower at this point as I need damage guards for the bandit. Yes, they get down. Uh, and then, okay, so we got a tower. There we go. Okay, now we're back to even. Let's go, boys. Um, I'm just going to cycle an Inferno Dragon in the back uh, to like start my pushback here. So uh, once we have 10 and, oh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, God. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so our tower is actually like, okay, 900? Yeah, that's fine. But, okay, yeah, that, okay, we're okay here. Whew, that was scary, though. Uh, I did not, if I lost that tower, I don't think I have time here to take this before overtime. So, uh, we're going to loot in the pocket. Uh, we can zap these to make sure that Inferno Dragon gets on tower. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I need to take this tower, please. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to. Oh, we got it! Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. Uh, we get Inferno Dragon aggressively. He's got a rocket. I don't think he has anything. I think we did it. We're on. We got it. Yes! Let's go! Oh my god. Oh, I was so nervous there, dude. Oh, that second tower was so close. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that was actually so scary. Dude, that second tower, he just, he went for the cannon car. I was like, oh no. He's got snowball, he had everything. I, I thought it was over. Oh, I can't believe I took that tower. Oh my god, I'm actually shocked. Holy crap. But uh, anyway, there you guys go. There's the 12 win. The high octane uh, last game there, as Rosé says. Uh, by the way, I'm going to leave Rosé's uh, YouTube link in the description here. As uh, he gave me a massive shout out after this video. After the, uh, after the 12 win there, so... Uh, go check his channel out, really fun guy, good friend of mine, awesome content, all that. And uh, But other than that, if you uh, enjoyed this video, let me know. Uh, any suggestions are appreciated in the comments. And uh, But other than that, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.